Data Studio is Google's next generation business intelligence and data visualization platform that lets you build scalable, serverless, interactive dashboards on the cloud free of charge. Hi, I'm Minhas Kazi, developer advocate for Data Studio. In this video, we'll take a look at two new exciting features in Data Studio, Explorer and Data Blending. I'll also show you how you can take advantage of these features in Data Studio. When you're working with a data set, you want to first explore the data. You want to start with an overview of the data, explore it, and look for insights. To quote Ben Schneiderman's visualization mantra, overview first, zoom and filter, and details on demand. So when you're doing more of an exploratory visualization, you need the capability to select exactly the data you need, filter it based on different criteria, and try different visualizations to see what makes more sense. Data Studio Explorer is a dedicated space for you to quickly derive insights from your data through fast ad hoc querying. It is built on top of the same stack as Data Studio, so everything created in Explorer can be exported into Data Studio Reporting, and everything visualized in Data Studio Reporting can be exported into Data Explorer for quick analysis. This Explorer feature becomes more important when you're working with big data, for example, in BigQuery. BigQuery is Google's petabyte-scale data warehouse solution. In BigQuery, you can use SQL to query terabytes in seconds. Let's see how you can use Data Studio Explorer feature with the BigQuery dataset. You're going to love this. Once you have your data in BigQuery, what can you do? What if you want to quickly visualize the results of your data? Or what if you have users who don't know how to write SQL but still need to work with the data? So here's BigQuery, and we'll pick a public dataset from here. This is the public data set for Major League Baseball, and we'll pick this table, and we will run a sample query. We'll pick all the fields, and we'll remove the limit, and then we'll run the query. So once the query is run, then you can see that we can see the results of the query. We also have this button called Exploring Data Studio. If we click this button, what will happen is that Data Studio will create a direct connection to the BigQuery table and will set up the ad hoc visual querying interface where I can drag and drop chips that generate the SQL queries in BigQuery. So this table contains every Major League Baseball uh, event at bat from 2016. So first, let's say we want to answer the question, what is the venue capacity of each venue? So for that, first we'll look for the venue cities We'll add the city to dimension, and we'll add the capacity to the metric. And we can see that these capacities are very large numbers because it's summing up all the results. So instead of the sum, we'll pick average. And now we can see the venue capacity of these venues. So let's say we want to also filter this by state. So we'll pick the states, and we'll add the venue state measure as a filter and select California as the filtering state. And we'll apply. And now you can see all the venues in California and the relevant capacities. This is how easy it is to use this Explorer interface. Now I can also switch this table to a bar chart, or I can even switch this to a geomap. I can also remove this filter And then let's say whatever results I have, I want to put this in a report and share that with my stakeholders. That is also possible to do. I will save this Explore option. And then I will take this and put it into a new Data Studio report. Data Explorer is 100% interpolable with Data Studio reporting. So I can move visualizations created here to Data Studio reporting with one click. And now Data Studio is exporting my visualizations to this report. And here you can see the report. I can now add a filter for the state. And then I can share this report with my other stakeholders, where they can easily filter and see the results. If you want to get valuable insights from your data, you might bring in data from different sources. Then you want to combine, analyze, and visualize your combined data as a whole. When you combine multiple datasets based on common parameters, the visualization gives you better context to the data. 
For example, you might want to join your daily sales data by geographic region with that region's daily average temperature to see how the temperature affected sales. This can be useful if you are, let's say, an ice cream manufacturer. Data Studio lets you bring in data from different sources and visualize them side by side on the same dashboard page. However, the data blending feature will let you join those data sets and analyze, filter, and visualize them in the same visual component. Let's see how easily data blending works in Data Studio. In this example, we'll walk through how easy it is to blend your data in Data Studio. We'll blend your Google Analytics data with some public data. If you want to do this without blending, it will require exporting data from the original system like Analytics using an API or manual exports, and then joining that data in a tool like Google Sheets or BigQuery. Using blending, you can combine the data in Data Studio and continue to take advantage of the direct connection to your data. To get started, let's assume you have two data sources. The first one is the Google Analytics data and a set of public data set that shows the US population on a state basis. So this is, let's say we'll add the public information first. We will add the population public data source. For dimension, we'll add region and for metric, we'll add the population. So you can see each region and their population. So we'll add a second table where we'll bring in the Google Analytics data. And similarly, over here, we'll bring in region and also user count. So what we want to do is we want to blend these two data sources and have one table where we'll have the region, the population, and the users. And it is very easy to do that in Data Studio. What we'll do is we'll select both of the tables, right click, select blend data, and then Data Studio will give us a new table that will have a new blended data source with both of these fields present. So as you can see over here in this table, that is blended, we have the region, the population, and the users. And that is how easy it is to blend data in Data Studio. So Data Explorer lets you quickly generate insights from your data in addition to leveraging powerful visualizations in reports. And Data Blending lets you join your data from multiple sources and visualize them in the same component to provide additional context. These new features will help you to get a better understanding of your data and get actionable insights in a shorter time in Data Studio. Go to datastudio.google.com and try out these new features today.